My name is Tony, and I'll be showing you Power Meter. First off, Power Meter is an Android application that allows you to view your energy use from your energy provider in useful ways. Your energy data is made available through the Green Button Initiative. I will show you how to get your energy data from your energy provider. First, log into your energy provider website and go to your account. I'm already logged into PG&E. Um, all these steps should be very similar to SDG&E or Reliant or any other provider that supports the green button. Um, you can also follow these, these steps on your mobile device or whatever um, device you're using. So once you're logged in, go to My Usage. And once you're at your main usage page, navigate and find the green button. The green button looks like this, or something very similar to this. Once you find it, click it. You'll be presented with a prompt. In this prompt, be sure you to download the XML format. So here, you would select export usage for specific days under for developers and third parties. So you want to download the XML format, not the CSV format. Um, so once you select that, go down and select the specific range you want to download for. Um, normally, you might want to just download all your data or you might just want to download a week's worth or uh, whatever how you want to do it. So I will just select April 3rd through April 11th, then export, save. So once you get your green button data, download um, and open power meter. So you, once you download your green button data, either through your mobile device or your computer, you need to find a way to open it up on Android. So if you just download it on Android, you download it, um, you can just select a notification and you'll be presented with a prompt where you can help open it up in Power Meter. But I just moved it right over to my Android device over USB. So once you, once you have your data there, find it, navigate it, and open it however you can. Um, this will, so it's usually a zip or an XML file, click it, and you'll present it with options of how to open it up. Um, if you don't have any other applications that open up a zip or an XML, um, Power Meter will automatically open it up. But if you get presented with options, select Power Meter, and Power Meter will begin um, parsing the data and saving it. And once it's done, you'll get a notification. With that notification, if you click it, it'll open Power Meter up. So once you have your data in Power Meter and it's done loading to it, um, oh, I forgot to mention if you have a lot of a lot of data, um, the parsing and saving could take um, several minutes. So just give it a little bit. Um, it'll notify you when it's done. Don't worry about it. Um, it's not frozen or anything. So once you have your data exported in, you can begin viewing graphs and charts. So the first thing you need to know is that you need a specific select a specific range. So um, the default just selects the previous week. So um, I chose April 4th, or April 3rd to the 11th. So I'll view April 3rd to 11th. And I will select power usage. And from here you display your chart. So this displays your power usage in watt hours, and you can just view the trends. Um, there's also a cost. It assumes um, 9.5 cents per kilowatt hour, and you display your costs, and it'll actually show you how much money it's costing you per day for your energy. It also supports pie charts. Um, again, you're have to get to find a range of what kind of what data you want. Um, then select a format. I like weekday. And it will show you a pie chart of your energy usage. And this way you can see how much energy and like how much percent of your energy is being used on a day, month, or time of day. Um, and that's Power Meter. We're going to be adding new formats. So we welcome suggestions. So just email us at Power Meter app, one word, powermeterapp at gmail.com. 
Um, we're, we love your suggestions, and thank you, and hope you enjoy using Power Meter.